I thought we'd come back to the scale garage here for just a minute and talk about uh, the Skeleton J2 chassis setup. Uh, as you know, we've been building our Class 1 rig here on the video series so far. And I wanted to show you our update with the Class 2 rig that we're putting together. Uh, you know that on the Class 1 rig, uh, we've got it basically buttoned up here already. And we're using a 75mm rear shock. Well, this time on the Class 2, uh, we're doing something really unique. Uh, we've got a cantilever suspension set up here which was from uh, Dinky RC. This is uh, the uh, Dinky RC cantilever SCX suspension kit. Uh, they've got a longer rod in here in between these two rod ends for the suspension action and for our uh, GCM Terramod axles we've uh, changed this to a shorter 13 millimeter um, link here instead of the long 30 millimeter. Other than that, this is a direct bolt-on and as you can see on the inside of the rail here, we've used the same two mounting screws uh, for our shock tower as Dinky RC uses for their cantilever suspension kit. So basically we've got a drop-in cantilever suspension set up here for the uh, J2 chassis. You can see the movement on that is just fantastic. And the other change we made, uh, there's two other changes that we made here. Uh, on our uh, J2 uh, we're using the uh, top link, the top suspension hole here for our uh, rear link in the back and uh, this is going to give us a little different suspension geometry but we've also got the drop skid here. I'll try to give you a view of that if the video will let me. Maybe we'll do it upside down. You can see here how this, the bottom links are mounted kind of like an SCX is where you've got the side mounted holes below the frame Here's the bottom of the frame here. You can see I have this turned upside down for the light. And the center skid uh, has a drop in it. This is from GCM as well. And this is called our drop skid. It has the four mounting holes here for our one-to-one -one transfer case or for our brand new uh, high-low transfer case, which is a two-speed unit. And uh, this uh, drop skid lets us lower the links a little bit here at the bottom because this truck has a little bit of a suspension lift so instead of the class 1 where we want everything to sit as low as possible to keep the suspension low on the class 2 we're actually giving it a suspension lift and in order to keep the geometry nice as you can see it's the links are almost flat we've actually used the uh, GCM drop skid here and that also gives us a little extra room for this taller high low transfer case it's quite a bit taller than our one to one transfer case uh, but still obviously a little quite a bit lower than the uh, than the floor in the rear here that you can see where the frame rail would have extended to. So with the drop skid and then the high low we've still got room for the interior and we're going to be using another one of these Jeep bodies here that's uh, going to be dropped onto this Skeleton J2. Now I don't think I talked about this before but I wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh, dual servo mount and there's a reason because when we did our K44 suspension setup in the front of our class 1 build right here, uh, let me just show you that you can see here in this suspension build that we've got the driver's side offset and the three link panhard comes across from the passenger side towards the driver's side. When we did the GCM K44 third link and panhard bracket here that you can see mounted on the axle, this bracket is a driver's side, a left side drop for the panhard. So that's different than our class two. Sorry for the sloppy steering there, I left that off so I could show you. You'll see on this class 2 rig that we're doing, now the panhard is actually on the right hand side of the truck. So the panhard rod is not on the left like it is on the K44 truck, it's now on the right. And the reason why this is so cool is because this suspension mount, this uh, servo mount is so cool is because it's reversible. I had a question asked uh, the other day by a couple different people. So what happens if I want to do a driver's side drop, uh, passenger side drop on the axle or I want to do a different setup? Is there any way for me to move the motor mount over to the other side? Well, of course there is because the motor mount sits inside the two sides of the frame here. And so the motor mount can be switched from left to right. It doesn't really matter. You just turn it around and the axial transmission allows you to adjust the input shaft from the front of the tranny to the back and then you can switch it all around. So this could this is a completely reversible system. Both rails are symmetrical and the mount works on either rail. The servo mount 
can be a left side kick or switched around to be a right side kick and you can still get the dual mount accessory on the front here. You see the dual mount right up front here. That's actually bolted on of course, right? So this second servo mount here is actually just a bracket bolted onto the bottom servo mount. So this whole thing is interchangeable and reversible. And if you did happen to have room underneath here in the front, you could actually take the second servo mount in the center and bolt it into the bottom and then use it for a bumper mount. You could use it for a winch pad or electronics tray. You can turn this thing upside down and inside out all over the place. So, you know, this, there's some real versatility to the product here. It's not just a frame and you stick your stuff in and you get what you get. You can set this up any way you want. And of course, we're this is uh, basically also a preview for the GCM Terramod axles. This is our uh, SCX width offset pig in the front. And uh, this setup is going to allow us to use uh, our, our standard SCX width uh, specifically in the back because it's centered, so that's an easy drop in. And in the front, we're going to add our own uh, long and short axles here with the standard SCX drivetrain parts. And we needed to get the pan hard down to the passenger side, which means we need the servo driving from the driver's side to go to meet to match up with the pan hard. So I don't didn't think I really talked about that uh, suspension setup and uh, servo mount setup in the last video. So I just want to show you an update on where we're going with the class two build uh, with all these crazy mods. The Dinky RC SCX10 cantilever suspension kit bolted right on with a new small 13 millimeter link in between here. We've got the GCM drop skid that allows us to keep our link geometry very, very flat on the bottom here, which is one of our favorite things. We uh, have the uh, GCM brand new high-low two-speed transmission uh, transfer case in here, which will still be driven off of a passenger side transmission from Axial. And then we're using the servo mount offset driven from the driver's side to match our pan hard bar, which goes to the TerraMod axle set. And that's where we're at with the class 2 build.